What's happening, Internet family? Dan A from Danstube.tv, and today I have my best tips and settings for the Mavic 2 Pro. The first tip is actually really cool as it gives us more control over the camera than we ever have had before. It actually allows you to rotate the camera off to either the left or the right to see the legs of your drone or if you're pointing down at a subject for example, you can then rotate off to the left and get a really cool sweeping shot which is extremely useful and something I've been using quite a lot of. The photo button on the controller now serves two purposes. If you tap it gently, it will focus on whatever point you have set it to focus on and then if you press and hold it will then take a picture so it operates now very similar to a lot of other cameras on the market. I recently started a drone inspired clothing line called eyeintheskyclothing.com I will have a link below to check it out but I've got some really cool designs over here that are drone inspired designs I recently released a brand new drone pilot design in two different unique designs so check them out I will have the links below and if you use the hashtag eyeintheskyclothing then I will feature your picture on on the Eye in the Sky Clothing official Facebook and Instagram page. Moving on to the color profiles now, you have the option between normal, HLG, or D-Log M. Now with D-Log M and HLG, you have to be in the video codec H265. For normal, you can go between H264 or H265. If you want the pure 10-bit video though, you have to use H265. And if you use H264 for the normal color profile, then that will be 8-bit video. Now HLG basically means that it's HDR video that is ready to go on compatible devices. You don't have to edit at all and it will just go up straight away. And D-Log M is for the flattest image to allow you more control in post-production. Now when it comes to the video size, you have two different 4K options. You have 4K HQ, which is a 55 degree field of view option, which is significantly cropped compared to the full field of view. And then the full field of view gives you a 75 degree field of view. So you get get a slightly wider angle there allowing you to see more in the frame. So basically the HQ version is the best version to use if you want the highest quality. It basically actually shoots on the 5k sensor and then crops it significantly where the full field of view is actually artificially sharpened and the image quality will not be as high end as the HQ version. You can also shoot 2.7k at 60 frames per second and 1080p at 120 frames per second. Make sure to pick your or white balance based on the weather conditions. I always seem to stay with sunny, but definitely adjust it and don't keep it in the auto white balance as you'll see a lot of your shots will be a lot more blown out and overexposed. I would also recommend enabling the histogram so you can see how the image is being portrayed. Make sure to enable overexposure so that you can see if a shot is overexposed in certain aspects. And then also make sure to have the grid enabled so that you can frame your shot nicely. You can also enable the peaking threshold to make sure that everything is in focus and I like to go with the low as all the others seem to just be way too full on and in your face but low seems to give you quite a nice understanding of what is in focus. To ensure that you don't get any choppy footage you need to make sure that your shutter speed is double or a multiple of your frame rate. So for example if I'm shooting in 30 frames per second make your shutter either 60, 120 or 240 and then go from there just make it multiples of 30 frames per second to get the smoothest footage. If you don't want to stress about the shutter or the aperture too much, then you can set the drone to shutter priority or aperture priority and it will automatically adjust these values to make it a lot easier on you. You can also adjust the color style to get a little bit more out of your image. I recommend plus one for sharpness and plus one for contrast with zero for saturation. And this is actually just the landscape option in your color style option. So just select that one or you can go to custom and play around with it a little more. But the three values values are sharpness, contrast and saturation. The Mavic 2 Pro allows you to adjust the aperture from f2.8 all the way up to f11 and basically f2.8 as you can see right now just lets as much light into the camera as possible. The default setting for the C1 button is called camera forward slash down and this is a really useful setting. It basically allows you to point the camera down and then automatically point it back up to a forward position and as you can see here this is a really useful feature. In the main controller setting 
settings, I would recommend changing the return to home altitude from the original value either up to 60 meters or 80 meters just to ensure that if it is returning to home, you're going to be a lot higher than anything that you may encounter. In your gimbal settings, go to advanced settings and now change your pitch speed to 4 and your pitch smoothness to 15. Now you can adjust these values to make it work for you, but I really like these settings as it gives you a really smooth gimbal control, which makes it a little bit more cinematic in my opinion. If you go into your aircraft battery settings, I really like to show the voltage on the main screen. This just shows me if I'm having any issues with my battery, and it gives you a really clear indication in the top right corner, so I personally really like this. If you don't want to worry about focusing yourself, then you can actually set up the autofocus continuous mode. I personally would prefer to focus to make sure that it's all good, but the autofocus continuous mode seems to work quite well, and it's a very easy thing to enable and disable if you want to use it for certain shots. So that is the end of my best settings and tips for the Mavic 2 Pro. Most of these settings and tips will work on the Mavic 2 Zoom, but a lot of the specific Mavic 2 Pro stuff will obviously only work on the Mavic 2 Pro. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out irontheskyclothing.com for all of my awesome merchandise. That's it though. Leave a comment below letting me know what you think. Let us know if you found any other tips and settings. And that's it. Make sure to have a great day. Peace out.